Exciting times are ahead for the Red Lake Nation. They have been given millions of dollars in funding to address longtime concerns in the community. Our Brenda Mack tells us what the future holds after nationwide and state officials visited the band today. After a long battle dealing with dangerous work conditions and drug and alcohol addiction. I was frustrated nothing was happening, although we've been pushing, 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 finally. The future is looking bright. Many Red Lake Band members' needs will be addressed with four critical projects. It is all about the people. All of this possible through a $13 million loan by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. It's the people and the difference you're going to make in their lives. So proud to be able to tell my fellow Fire department personnel, they will get a new facility. Ritlick's first fire chief has seen the current fire hall stand since 1973 and knows its limitations. We have a lot of our equipment sitting outside. And it's ready, ready to fall down. <laughs> Just the way it looks, yeah. Red Lake officials say the Bureau of Indian Affairs have condemned this fire hall that's behind me for 15 years due to its poor condition. But soon that will change. Dream come true here. The crew asks me every day, how is it, how is it coming? When are they going to start building? <laughs> A new fire hall will also be built in Panema, increasing safety for more than 700 residents there. Red Lake will build a chemical dependency treatment center and expand its renal dialysis center from 5 to 12 units. Currently, patients will have to travel more than 60 miles to the next nearest facility. It'll be a place where people can get help and people can recover. You know. Through all these projects, Red Lake's chairman is urging to create jobs for its members. It's not about us or me, it's about our people. Our people is the one that needs help. In Red Lake, Brenda Mack, Lake News. Red Lake City officials will make a decision next week on possibly tearing down the current fire hall. The band looks forward to breaking ground on all four projects, projects next spring. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.